Hey everyone, Susan Rashawn here, the Techie Manor and host of the VA Tips, Tricks, and Advice podcast, where I share all things VA in bite-sized episodes without any fluff or filler, just the stuff that gets results. Join me as we embark on the VA freedom journey together, escaping soul-sucking jobs and mastering the skills that empower true freedom. It's time to break free and build a life on your terms. So let's dive in. Hello, my friends, and welcome to this week's episode. Today's hot topic, if you will, is all about the difference between sales and marketing. So just real quick, I know when I started my business, I really didn't understand the difference between sales and marketing. I'd always been in a job and there was always a marketing and sales department. So I always figured they were kind of the same thing. Well, I learned very quickly um, as I ventured into being a business owner that they are not the same thing and they are uniquely different. So for those of you who have the mind that marketing sales are the same, this is for you. So first off, marketing is before sales. And so marketing is all about awareness. It is simply letting people know who you are and how you can help them. It is not sales. It is marketing. So think of marketing as just letting people know, hey, I'm here and I can help you. Not hire me, I'm a VA or a web WordPress developer or you know, fill in the blank. It's not a hire me type post or a hire me DM. That's not marketing, that's straight sales. And so this is my opinion. So take it for what it's worth and you do what works best for you. But I personally do not like people who go straight to sales and miss marketing altogether. And for instance, those are people who I connect with on LinkedIn and literally minutes later, I get a DM from them saying, hey, I'm a VA slash fill in the blank. Um, Hire me for fill in the blank. Well, we're in a relationship based business and I'm sure it's okay if you sell widgets. Um, You're just selling products, but we're selling services, which means we're in the long game, not the short game. And we are building relationships. That's not how you build relationships. You don't start right out of the gate and cold pitch your products or services to people. Again, my opinion, I find it as a turnoff because I think they don't even take the time to get to know who I am or even if I want what they're selling. They're just concerned with the bottom dollar. And they're also looking at the short game. Again, my focus, my my opinion What I prefer is someone who takes the time to connect with me and get to know me, and then they can ask questions. Then they can approach me. But if I don't know you, I've never met you, I don't have any connection with you, and the first thing you do is try to sell me, yeah, right now, all I do is throw it in the garbage. I don't even respond. And so I know there are people who teach cold pitching as part of their sales and marketing training. I'm just not one of those. I am just of the belief that you need to build relationship first. And so that's what marketing is focused on. Marketing is telling your niche, your target market, how you can help them, not telling them to hire you in any way, shape or form. So what do I mean by marketing? Marketing can be anything content related. It can be a blog post, a podcast, a webinar. It can be a simple uh, social media post on Facebook or Instagram or Pinterest or LinkedIn. And what you actually market is what you're selling. Now, you're not asking people to buy it. You're simply telling them that you have it. There's a big difference between hire me and, oh, did you know I have this? They're a very different energy. They come at you a very different way. You're simply letting people know and you're not dropping into their inbox unless they've asked you to. You're simply putting it out there to the world that you're here to help them and this is how you can do that. Now, that's marketing. So marketing is about making people aware of you in a number of different ways. And your marketing is focused on what you sell. So whatever services you offer, that's what you market, okay? And those, you know, you can have a call to action that says, hey, this is the next step. Let's get on a discovery call and see if I can help you with your WordPress problems or, you know, create you a WordPress website or whatever it might be. But sales, the sales conversation starts after the awareness. In other words, someone has reached out to you and said, hey, I'm interested in XYZ. Hey, I noticed you did a post on XYZ. They're showing interest. So awareness comes first, interest comes second. So think of marketing as awareness and sales as someone who is interested in what you're doing. Now, if they've commented on something, they've reached out to you via DM or email, Then you can start the sales conversation because you know they're interested in what you have. So at the end of the day, 
we're playing the long game as a service provider. What I mean by that is you want to make a great first impression with clients and keep them over the long term because they're going to be a referral source for you. And not only that, but you never know where referrals are going to come from. So I'm not of the school of, of cold pitching in any way, shape, or form. That just doesn't work for me. But if it works for you, great. Embrace it. Run with it. But at the end of the day, I really want you just to understand the difference between marketing and sales. They are not the same thing. Marketing is awareness. Sales comes when someone shows an interest in what you're doing and what you're selling and, you know, your, your marketing. They will let you know. So one of the things that I want to mention as well is email marketing is part of marketing. So building a list and emailing people on your list, that's not cold pitching because they've showed interest in what you have because they signed up for what you have. So think of digital marketing as a whole as just marketing. And there's so many different ways that you can market. But at the end of the day, content marketing is the biggest way to do that. So you want to embrace content marketing. You want to build your own list. You want to put yourself in places where you can uh, show up for yourself and market what it is that you're selling. So hopefully this has given you in some insight into marketing versus selling. Again, Susan's opinion here, I encourage you to do whatever works for you. But if you found this a value, I'd love to hear from you. So please either subscribe or leave me a comment. See you next time. Hey, thank you so much for listening. And if you enjoyed today's podcast, please consider subscribing for more bite-sized insights. And remember, challenges are just opportunities in disguise. Don't give up. You're closer than you think. See you next time.